Hi, welcome to Zgadget Review. Have you been playing Watch Dogs Legion on Xbox Series X and S? And have you realized that there's no autosave? Well, I have great news for you. And not so good news for you. So it seems that Ubisoft is aware of the issue and they won't give you a solution until early December. Here's a tweet from Ubisoft and the Watch Dogs Legion account. Hey, my game didn't save the last hour or so on Series X. This being fixed? Uh, we're sorry about the issue you are experiencing. The team is aware of this issue and are working on a fix for it, which we are aiming to have in patch in early December. Early December? I mean, granted, right now, as I do this video, it's a few days before Thanksgiving, so we have, what, like a week or two left on November. But... <laughs> <laughs> this, uh... But this means that if you have some time off, let's say Thanksgiving, or if you took Friday off the day after Thanksgiving here in the US as a day off because you wanted to play games all weekend or just some days, you know, some of that time you wanted to spend playing a game and you have picked up Watch Dogs Legion to enjoy a game, especially because it's an open world game and it's, you know, pretty lengthy if you want to do all the missions and everything that comes with it. I would recommend you to not do it because there is no workaround on how to save the game uh, to, for autosave. So you could be playing the game and have like two, three hours of gameplay in it. And if you turn off the console, well, you could probably lose everything that you just played. Bugs happen in games all right problems happen with games it is it is it, is, it, ha it happens you know it's not <laughs> it's not a perfect science it happens when did this game come out like didn't it come, didn't it come out when the xbox and uh the playstation come out which was like what november 10th or 11th or 12th or something like that how is it that it's going to be pretty much a month since this game came out, and then you that's when you're going to patch it? There is no way that you didn't know this was happening. There's no way that you didn't hear about this the first week the game was out on Xbox Series X or Xbox Series S. Uh, there's an article on IGN, and this is what the author of the article says. I myself have experienced that issue after playing the entirety of Legion on Xbox One without a saving issue. I switched to Series X, stores its final stages, autosave stop working from me, stop working from the beginning of the final campaign mission and around an hour into the post game. When I reloaded, my character was about to begin the final mission again, meaning about an hour and a half's progress was lost. It's, it's really, I don't know, I don't know. I don't, I don't understand when, when developers are going to stop doing this to their players because it really sucks. To wait until what? This tweet is November 20th. You're telling me that your testers didn't find this issue? Like, what? It, like, it went down to people and all, all of a sudden, like, oh, there's an issue on Xbox Series X and S. Who knew? And they launched the, the game because, hey, we got to launch it. And, you know, be damned whoever has this issue and plays the game for hours and then just loses everything. And, 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 to, and, and it's happened to me before, okay? So I know what it feels like to put a lot of time into a game and then for the game to just not exist and you got to start all over again, especially if you play on harder settings. Like I, it happened to me with Gears of War, uh, with the second or no, the third Gears of War. I, I like playing the harder settings when I play Gears of War and other games because of the achievements. I like getting the achievements and I like playing the campaign one go through and get all the achievements. That's why I do it. All right, there it is, confession time. I was halfway through the game and I don't know what happened. When I went to play the game again, everything that I had played was gone. I had to start pretty much from the beginning of the game almost. And ask me if I finished that game. Ask me, ask me. No, I didn't finish that game. Once I realized that I had to start all over again, I was like, this game, I'm done. I played, I, I think I tried playing it like two, like I passed the level that I was in. It saved because I went to check and it was safe. But after that, I just didn't have, I, like I didn't want to anymore. Like I was so angry 
Like, I feel like my time had been wasted so much that I was like, I'm not playing this game again. And I never finished it. I actually swore off Gears games, Gears of War games, all the way until game five just came out. And I played Gears of War 4 in preparation to Gears of War 5 in like two weeks. Like I like like I just dedicated my time to that game. Finished the game, Gears of War 5 came out and started playing it. I played a little bit and I just picked it up again now that I have the Xbox Series X because it looks great on Xbox Series X. But like it, like it sucks. Like it really sucks when developers do this. And I hope, I wish that one day... In the perfect world, developers will actually ship their games done or with minimal amount of bugs. Kind of like what Cyberpunk is doing. Hey, we need more time to make sure that this game is going to be great when you get it. Like, that's what the, that's that's what developers should do. When your game's broken, say, you know what? My game's broken. you got to wait another couple of weeks so we can fix it. I mean, they're perfect examples. Anthem. Stupid, uh, that that stupid Fallout, whatever the hell they made that game. The Avengers, which there's reports that has lost over 90% of its player base on PC. And the thoughts are that it's the same thing happening in consoles. Like, you know, the list it just goes on and on and on. It's stupid. It's irresponsible. <sighs> gotta get your shit together. Have you had this issue playing Watch Dogs Legion? If you have, have you lost a lot? And what do you feel? How do you feel about the game now? If that has happened to you, let me know in the comment section. That's it for me. Go ahead and subscribe. Give us a thumbs up. It really helps the channel. Go ahead and hit that bell so you can be alerted every time we have a new videos. And thank you very much for watching.